Hi, my name is Talisha Williams, and I'm auditioning for the role of Nat. I heard Mo's voice on that tape, and it was... He gets so much pleasure from causing all this pain. But don't we do the same? I mean, really. Those people he killed, they're not real to us. Oh, I've made all the right noises about being shocked and appalled. But at the end of the day, we just love getting close to the monster. As long as we're safe. As long as the costs aren't real. As I tried to listen, I kept thinking of everyone we lost. Huckleberry, Alduin, Val. All of them. They're real. So much agony. I couldn't think of anything else, so I didn't hear it right away. Did you? He said, Chandler was so concerned about the missing $20. Chandler Evans, his first victim. Mo knew him. He freaking knew him. We need to look at Chandler Evans again. There's some connection between them and we have to find it. 10 years ago, here in Tallahassee, a killer broke into two people's homes and slaughtered them. The paper called him the Tallahassee Tickler. What a terrible serial killer name. The cops said the two murders were totally unconnected, but they never caught anyone. Then there was another hurricane. The news moved on and everybody just forgot about it. I was still in high school, deep in my emo phase. We turned the Tickler into our own boogeyman, like our own version of Slender Man or the Blair Witch. Don't go out alone tonight or the Tickler will get you. Which now that I think about it makes no sense since he broke into people's houses. <laughs> I never really gave it much thought until recently, but what could be a better place to start researching my true crime podcast than with an unsolved case in my own backyard?